Hey everybody, it's LP, and welcome to the first episode of Surviving Mars Reloaded. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna get a do-over on this one. You know what happened? Life caught up to me, and I got distracted from my previous series, and now I'm completely lost as to where I'm at because I do some off-camera work with this series. So what we're going to do is we're going to start up a whole new game. I'm going to go ahead and load the settings and save you the heck of watching that. They're going to be the same settings in the same location on Mars. Uh, we may get a different map. I'm not sure how randomized that is. But uh, I'll see you guys in a second on the Red Planet. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the surface of the Red Planet. We got ourselves a brand new location here. It's still in the same general area, but I opted for a section of the map that has a little more threat for meteor showers. I wanted to uh, throw, throw some challenge in there. So let's go ahead and uh, clear off our uh, notifications. And we've got our probes, of course. So let's go ahead and fire those down. We got some rare metals. One. Uh-oh. Come on. We need water, baby. Which one? Which one? Top or bottom? Top or bottom? Top or bottom? Let's go top. Ah. Oh. Okay, so water's going to be a little hard to come by right away, apparently. That's, uh, that's troubling because we are going to, if there is no water up here, we're either going to need vaporators or to build a tunnel downward as soon as possible. I'm not sure how far tunnels reach, how many uh, how many sectors away you can go. But anyway, we can select a whole bunch of sectors to scan now. Eight and nine. We can scan this whole plateau pretty much in one go. Which is nice, so we're going to pull that one out and do that one. You know what? We're going to pull all of these back. So we're going to go like this. One, two, three... And then we'll go up here, four, five, six, seven, and then eight and nine. That'll give us the whole plateau. So I suppose gathering resources is going to be a thing. There's some deep metals here. Hmm. No, we don't want to build anything yet. We can't do that. <laughs> Let me get my uh, movement keys here. Uh, looks like we got some polymers and stuff here. This isn't bad. Uh, we're looking at 2,000 concrete there. And 2,000 concrete there. That's actually very nice. And look at all the metals in the area, folks. This, despite the lack of water, this might be a very good colony site. We're definitely going to want to put our dome up here. We've got some anomalies to look at. Let's back up and look and see what other anomalies we have. We have six of them so far. So, yeah, this might be a good landing spot, folks. We're going to go right over here. Can my rovers get up that? I don't think so. <laughs> so here's what we're going to do. We're going to come over here. And we're going to put our rocket down. And uh, there's plenty of metal. some Even some free polymer right here. This is, uh, this is going to be a thing. We're going to go ahead. Bring the rocket up. We're going to turn it around like that. And I think we'll stash it over here. Yeah, that looks good. Right next to the what what is going to be my first concrete... Uh, mining operations so uh, let, let's uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves established here I always play in double speed I suppose I'm just crazy like that let's get our rovers unloaded okay you we definitely want you going here and coming back with it and putting it right there that's fine now we do need some pads uh, yeah we're gonna need a metal depot that that is for sure we're going to need two of them probably, so we're going to go ahead and build two of them right now. And then we're going to need some concrete depots. One, two, I'm going to build straight up four of these. There we go. Okay, now we need, uh, let's see, polymers. There's polymers. There's electronics. And there is machine parts. And uh, we'll put a fuel depot here, too, because eventually we're going to have to synthesize something. And uh, we're going to go ahead and send for the second cargo rocket. We are going to bring another explorer. This time we're going to bring a control drone. Our prefabs. We already have a drone hub. I also sent for a bunch of sterling generators, and we're going to do that again. We're going to send for four sterling generators right away. We're going to go ahead and hook up some moisture vaporators. I think four of those will be pretty good. 
Uh, let's see, we definitely want a fuel refinery. I think we'll be good there for now because we're not bringing people. So let's go see what other stuff we can bring up. Uh, we're going to want a few more drones. Let's do 10 drones. And then let's see, what did I short myself on? I don't think I shorted myself on much of anything. Hmm, and it's 7,000K. Let's do... Actually, let's do that. We'll do that, and then we'll take one of each of these. We'll take uh, polymers, machine parts, and electronics. And uh, I named the first rocket Tater 1. We're going to call this one Bammer 1. These are named after my friend's kids, nicknames for them. So, uh, <clears throat> here you go, Jaxper. That one's for you. Anyway, Bammer 1. Take off for Mars. Okay, let's see. We need this guy to go and start exploring anomalies. And I believe the drones can handle the rest now. They're going to want to clear out these metals. In fact, I'm going to reset his schedule here to make sure that he drops them off where he should. So, yeah, they're right there. Okay, let's do this. All right. They're going to go ahead and unload the rocket. And I need to go ahead and build my power supply. So I've got four Sterling generators right here. We are going to go ahead and pop these down right there. And then we're going to run our cable across like this. No, we'll run it to here. That should give us access to both here and here. So let's go ahead and get some concrete production happening. Concrete extractor. What are we looking at? 490... 574 let's go ahead and uh that'd be 499 I, I think i might want to do that let's go ahead and erase that and then get out the concrete extractor where's the 499 right here is where it is now let's run the cable across all right that should be awesome <clears throat> it has nowhere to distribute power to and the drones are, of course, going to get metals. Uh, this may take a hot minute. So uh, let's get some concrete production happening. I'm going to go ahead and... Well, that's awesome. Achieved. Yay. <laughs> All right. So let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and stash one accumulator for right now. Let's go get this guy and send him to another anomaly. There's one right down the street. <laughs> All right. Not a bad start. Let's see how well she goes. Dateline, surface of Mars. We have discovered a breakthrough, and it is Project Phoenix. When a colonist dies, there's a 50% chance he or she is reconstructed as youth with the same traits. Wow. Are you kidding me? Now, I haven't started up research yet. We're going to definitely want the Vaporator upgrade. We are definitely going to go for Project Phoenix. Let's do some productivity training and drone swarm as well. Yeah, that's actually pretty awesome, man. Project Phoenix. Oh, deary my. What did I do? I stopped myself. What is he? A transport. He's got a bunch of metal. He was going to charge up anyway. So uh, we want him to drop off his goodies over here at the metals depot. There we go. <laughs> oh, crud. I've screwed it all up. <laughs> Alright, this guy, he was supposed to be going out and visiting anomalies, but uh, I seem to have gotten sidetracked. So we're going to send him down here once he charges up, and then uh, we will continue on here from the surface of Mars. Alright, the rocket is here. Let's get it down, down onto the ground. The drones are still going for metals. I don't think we can really stop that. And they, there's going to be a swarm of them coming. So they are going to... Anomaly analyzed. All right. Where are you at? You're down here, aren't you? Let's go get you. Send you right here. So we've got our second explorer rover. We're going to send him up north here to get this anomaly right here. That'll be good. And then we have this RC rover right here. He's going to go sit right here. 
and his drones are basically gonna help with everything else. I also need a dump site. Hmm. Let's get that happening. I need several of these, actually. Whoops. I forgot to hold shift. That's right. If you hold shift, you can plop down more than one of any particular given thing. And boy, did I screw that all up. Ah, there we go. That's fine. That'll be good for concrete production. We don't need to crank out too much right now. We're getting 500 out of that one. That's not a bad start at all. So the rocket is now unloaded. Yep. It'll slowly synthesize fuel, which is nice, but we definitely want to get some fuel production going. So uh, this cargo rocket I sent, moisture vaporators, let's go ahead and build those. Uh, life support that would be. There's four of these bad boys right here. We are going to set them up. Ah, let's see. Blocking objects. Is he blocking objects? Yes. Let's see. We don't want those too close to anything dusty. Let's run some cable over this way because this is where more or less the domes are going to be anyway all right now let's run the vaporators we'll run them over here okay set that up right there that one right next to it a third one and that needs to move all right oh no you need to go over here <laughs> there we go i keep forgetting about that there we go. Now we need to run some pipage. We're going to run the pipage over here, the length of the cable. And then we need some water towers, don't we? We need a place to put all this wonderful water. We also need a fuel refinery, actually. Let's get that going first. Let's see. We're going to put him... No cable connection. Hmm. All right, that means we need to just... Whoa wrong one there we go we need to build that real quick right there i think we should be good to go as far as uh water and power needs are concerned and we should be making quite a bit of fuel all right there go the pipes the pipes are almost up <clears throat> and the drone should be building the cable here shortly ah there's the other section of pipes so we got four vaporators going they are producing 2.4 water per second and uh, we are currently researching stuff far far too slow we've got all the money in the world due to being the international mission so let's go ahead and do the big outsourcing look at all these techs we've unlocked there's the Martian University already we've got the wind power upgrades and seeing as how we are up on a plateau that is a good idea. There is a decommission protocol. We are going to want that relatively soon as well. We've got a lot to choose from, but we are just going to let our colony roll right now, get some basic infrastructure set up, and then we might just bring people down to Mars, episode one. Sector scan. I'm not saying anything because I want you to listen to this music. This is the official, if you want to call it that, in-game radio station. This is the music you would be meant to hear if the game only had one standalone audio track. And may I just say, it's a nice cross between EDM and the epic film scores of yesteryear. Listen to that. It's like Cleopatra meets Daft Punk, right? The score from Cleopatra, anyway. It, the, the music in this game is just amazing. Let's put it that way. Alright, in the process of building some infrastructure, which you can see in the background, we seem to have stumbled on an anomaly. Now, we can either get the engineering research boost, which will cut the cost by 10%, or we can sell the data and get 500 million Mars bucks in funding. I think I'm going to go for the uh, engineering research boost and show you what I'm doing here. I've got a couple of moxies coming up, a couple of oxygen tanks coming up. Yeah, I'm thinking dome here pretty soon, if not just to generate power. We'll see how that goes. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to report that there is indeed water on Mars. It's down here. It's not too far away. I think if we establish like a central power dome right here and then branch off other domes from that, 
the plan should be fine. We're going to need to get down to this water set, uh, water deposit here. And it looks pretty healthy, 8,000. That's not too bad. That'll support an early colony. We may have to go for more vaporators, though. Research we'll, we'll, complete. We'll see what happens. Uh, we need to get him delivering materials. That's what I was doing. All right, let's see. What are you, what are you doing? All right, you need to go over here, get the metals before they do, and come back here with them. Ah. <sighs> These drones, I tell you what, they're going up here to get metals from here. They're crazy. All right, the dome is going up, up, up. And so is Tater 1. It's time to send Milestone her achieved. up back to Earth. And now let's uh, let's make some way for some research here. Let's go ahead and get the magnetic filtering out of the way. All right, so the dome is up. I've got four prefab sterling generators ready to go. Where do I want to stash these? That's the trick. I think I'll stash them right here. And then we'll complement them with some large solar panels like a sol. That should provide sufficient power for this dome here. Provided, you know, we actually want to bring colonists down right now. Which we don't. This is Monkey Boy 1. Thank you, uh, uh, crazy computer voice. This is uh, the cargo rocket here. It's bringing supplies. And we've named it after Monkey Boy. The third of the children that the rockets are going to be named after. I don't think we're going to use the fourth rocket. Now that we're sending Tater 1 back to Earth. I think we're good. So uh, we've got power generating in here. We're going to need a place to store it. I'm probably going to have to build a battery off of this. Cable fault reported. Uh-oh. That's not good. Okay, let's take one of our explorers and go find this new anomaly. That would be right there. Send it down there. And then uh, I will get some stuff uh, constructimitated in the dome. We'll wait for this rocket to get loaded up. And then uh, we'll go from there. Well, the na... Uh, Well, the anomaly we sent our explorer to scan paid off quite well. Say hello to my next breakthrough. This is hull polarization. Buildings, that's all buildings, require maintenance less often. I have not seen this one before. That one, that one is huge and it's not worth bumping anything that I currently have researching. But, you know, with the outsourcing bonus, I love that. With the outsourcing bonus, plus what I'm going to be getting once this research here, Explorer AI, is complete, that will uh, that will do some quite a bit of good there. This one here, we're going to want to get that one soon, even though it's 2,000 by itself. E that's, uh, that's a bit hefty of a price to pay, but it'll give us 100 extra research from our sponsor, which will push us up to 400. All right, so sometimes you get an anomaly and it's not the greatest thing in the world, but this is actually pretty good. Now there's a celebrity applicant available on Earth. The celebrity applicant will give us certain bonuses like attracting more colonists, you know, bonuses that I have yet to explore and you guys are going to explore along with me. We're not bringing people to Mars just yet. We'll do that really, really soon, though. Once I think we have sufficient infrastructure established, we'll see what we can do. All right, one of the things I'm trying to do is explore a way down off the plateau. So I'm looking at sectors, what are numbered six and seven, eight and nine right now as potential ways to get down off of here. Uh, of course, the one down by eight and nine has the advantage of water. But the one, uh, the one at six and seven there, that that seems to be a little closer to me right now. And plus, it's you know just beyond my path to the rare metals. So uh, we're gonna see uh, see how far we expand here. Let's go down to the colony level and see what's up. You may have noticed I put some sterling generators inside of here, complement them with some solar panels. We got the comfort stuff up and ready to go. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put tier residencies in here. Okay, and then we're gonna slap I think a polymer factory out here would probably be a good idea right in here somewhere Because we're gonna build another dome and have it access the polymer factory as well right along this little bridge right here 
And the colonists, it should be close enough. They should be able to swap back and forth between domes. These things, thankfully, they require metals for maintenance because, wow, that is, uh, that is a lot. A lot of dust, folks. Right now, the total demand on water is 2. We're producing 2.4 per water vaporator. So we've got plenty of water production, plenty of power production, plenty of oxygen production. I think we'll be ready to bring colonists down here in just a few minutes. Here's an interesting dilemma. When the medium dome becomes available. Hmm. Now you see, that is a big step up before I even get people here because you see I have the uh, compact passenger module. Basically what I'm doing there is increasing the uh, passengers available in my rockets to, by 10. Giving me 22 per per trip instead of 12. Now that that would give me a, a more robust founder period where I could only have X number of colonists working X number of jobs. That's why I already have my polymer factory set up outside of this dome here. Let's go show you what it, what this setup looks like right now. In fact, we're going to go ahead and turn that off and pause the game. See, I got this polymer factory right here. Now, this is not a problem because if I wait for the medium dome, it's turned off right now. If I wait for the medium dome, I could put the medium dome right about in here. Okay. And then it can just take command of this particular polymer factory right here and then this could be like I said a power dome this is something I'm going to have to seriously consider right now let's get the colony going again and uh, I'm also going to have to consider more power storage options because I'm look I'm producing a ridiculous amount of power right now power surplus of 38 that is uh that is quite crazy. I like the fact that I have a water surplus, a slight water surplus anyway. So that makes going for that water deposit a little bit more desirable. Although I may just call a cargo rocket. Eh, we'll flip a coin. Alright, so I cleared out the comfort sections of the dome. And yes, we are going to devote this to power. And I have started medium dome research. We're going to get that done ASAP. Now what I'm doing here is I'm installing the water reclamation spire. This is going to drop the dome's water usage in half, which is actually going to be quite nice. Uh, what that's going to allow us to do is uh, it'll only use 0.5 water instead of one whole one. So our water surplus up there should go up to 9 once this is finished and people get to working in it. We'll see what happens. I am going to put some residential spots in this dome. But I don't know how many just yet. But right now, it's generating a lot of power. The grid is a happy, happy place right now. Research complete. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Low G engineering. This means we can now plop down a medium dome. Let's get this bad boy up. Oh, look at this thing. It is absolutely massive. You know what? We're going to slap it right uh, you know what right there we're gonna make it hug hug the polymer factory right there that looks great man that is huge oh lordy well since I got the second concrete extractor going this thing should really go up in no time of course the drone hub being right here means the whole thing is accessible we are making progress we're gonna get this dome built we are gonna get people on Mars we are going to get jobs assigned, and we are going to kick this colony into high gear for the end of this episode. All right, Colony Prime, which I have named this medium dome, is finally going up. It took a while for my limited supply of drones to bring all the concrete over. This thing takes 150. But holy cow, look at this. We have a massive dome and just in time for my last cargo rocket to show up because we are hurting for polymers. That's why the polymer factory is right here. That's going to be the first thing we do. But for right now, first things first, we need some apartments for our colonists to live in. And of course, you know me, they need to be the onyx ones. So there we go. We've got some apartments. What else are we going to put in here? Hmm. We are definitely going to need some comfort features. So let's go over here. We're going to need an infirmary because these guys are 
gonna get all hurdy hurdy. That's gonna be a thing. We're gonna put some decorative elements in there as well. Let's get a garden and slap it right there. Research complete. And then we are gonna get some shopping for our uh, for our colonists here. Let's turn it that way so they can check out their living quarters that way. Hold on, let me see what this did. I think I may have placed this wrong. Let's try this again. <laughs> yeah, I did. We got to turn it this way. There it is. All right, and then we'll just go ahead into the decorations in that one single weird spot right there. We'll go ahead and put a statue. We don't These care which way he's facing. We are low on polymers. Is that something we need for this? No, the infirmary just needs concrete. But guess what? The supply rocket is here. We're going to turn them around like that. Drop them down. We got a bunch more drones coming in. A bunch more polymers and uh, machine parts and electronics. We are stocking up, getting ready to get folks on Mars. And this thing's going to be fueled up quick. Look at all that fuel. Alrighty, we are ready to bring colonists to Mars. All our little domes. Structures are built, and now it is time to pick out our crew. First of all, we are going to want engineers, and we are going to want botanists. I forgot to put a farm in the dome, but I think I can get one built before then. And we are going to want medics. Now, we are not going to want any of those, and we are not going to want any scientists just yet, but we are definitely going to want those particular traits. Now, let's see here. Lazy. We don't want that in an engineer. Hypochondriacs, eh, well, we can take a hypochondriac. Let's see, we need six botanists, six engineers. Let's see, and then the rest, well, eight botanists, eight engineers, I think, maybe. Gamer, uh, no, we don't want the gamer just yet. We don't have glutton, we don't want, eh. We don't have an electronics store yet, so let me see what I have here so far. I have two botanists and an engineer. We're still looking for six botanists. Let's see if we can find some botanists on the list. Now another glutton. Boy, these botanists are pigs. I'll tell you what. That one's an alcoholic. That's fine. Wow, we are hurting for botanists. I think we may have to take the ones we don't want. Okay, so we're going to have to build a game store. All right, what, what about this guy? Okay, that sounds good. These engineers here, we need a bunch of those. Seven more, I think. Now six, five, four. Okay, let's get some more engineers. Uh, hmm, no, no gluttons. No lazies either. We don't, we don't like lazy people. Let me see. That'll work. Well, maybe, maybe not. Let's go up here. Gamer, hypochondriac, religious. Ooh, religious. Melancholic, that'll be fine. Is that domes? No. That's low morale domes. Okay, that's fine. All right, so we still have got 10 spaces left. Let's do the hippie. Uh, let's see. Hmm, let me get some medics. Do I have any medics on page one selected? No, I do not. So we're going to take two medics. Let's see. We still need more engineers, don't we? And eh, gamer. And eh, gamer. I suppose we could throw up an electronics store. Uh, let's see. Still need one. Eh, we'll take a lazy engineer. Why not? And then we'll fill the rest of the slots here with no specialization. Maybe. And we'll take the extra medic. There we go. Let's get people to Mars, folks. It's a happening. We'll wait for the colonists to get here, and then we will get started getting this colony going, assign everybody their jobs, and we will call in an episode. Sector scanned. Thank you. All right, folks. The buildings are ready. The rocket is here. Let's get some Martians and get them assigned to their jobs. We have no residencies inside this dome, so they should not attempt to do much other than come here and work. Although I may put a residency in there. I'm not sure yet. I'm pretty Boom. sure they'll be able to... Determination. The first founders have set foot on the red planet. Wow. Full of piss and vinegar. I say that every time. <laughs> Alright, we are now officially in the founder stage. There goes everybody. 
popping off, getting into the dome. Look New at this. Colonists have arrived. They got this big old dome all to themselves. All right, now let's see who's doing what here. Okay, we've got these are all engineers. Good. All the engineers went to their correct spot. We got these guys here. That's a medic and a medic. Okay, good. Now let's see. We've got botanist, 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 botanist. We have a medic here. You know what? Let's go ahead and open a morning shift a spot. Colonists are on the brink of dehydration. Oh my, we have a water problem. Uh oh, did I bring any more evaporators with me? No, I did not. Well, that can't be good. This is a problem we are going to have to solve soon, and we are going to do it next time because uh, this episode's probably already running over really long. So uh, stay with me next time. We'll see if my colonists survive here on Surviving Mars. Stay safe, play hard. <laughs>